Hello everybody, I'm Linda and offering the 5 minute devotion for Wednesday July the 15th and we've been following through a series about the Lord's Prayer and uh, the, the phrase today in focus is lead us not into temptation. Well we're thinking a bit about temptation and uh, here I have a mouse trap. Well the cheese is often an enticement to the mouse or rat uh, in coming into the trap. But of course, as we know, there's no free cheese in the mouse trap. It really is um, something of terrible consequences for the mouse. And uh, so in an even deeper way, temptation and testing can really be a thing for us. And uh, so I read this in um, the Luke's uh, edition of um, the Lord's Prayer. Teach us to pray, the disciples said, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for also we forgive others who sin against us, and lead us not into temptation. So, lead us not into temptation. The Hebrew and Greek um, words that describe this really do mean temptation, but also furthermore a testing. It's uh, like... Uh, Temptation is an enticement to sin towards evil, like the cheese in the mousetrap. Uh, but the testing uh, is more perhaps an event or a process that really is um, seeking to show, you know, are we really keen for God? Are we really, um, and is our integrity really that deep? Is our commitment to God really that strong? So with that two kind of pronged thought about temptation, that of temptation and testing, let's look at a few biblical characters um, of that. Of course, we have um, Genesis, don't we, with Adam and Eve, they were led into a trap. We also have um, Abraham, he was tested with the offering up of his son Isaac. We go down to um, Proverbs 721, um, the warning against the adulteress enticing the person like a deer stepping into a noose, um, unaware that this whole process will cost him his life. Then there's Acts 5, Ananias and Sapphira, they were involved with um, deception regarding the monies that they had taken from the sale of their land. Also, terrible results, fatal in fact, as we know. So, of course, temptations uh, are here for us in 2020. Um, so much um, is around. It certainly uh, is a prayer that recognises our weakness apart from strength in Christ. Psalm 141 verse 4, Do not let your heart be drawn to evil. Surely this is our prayer, isn't it? So a couple of, uh, well, re applications. What can we take from this? I suggest a couple. Firstly, be watchful. Let's guard our eyes, our ears, our feet, our hands, um, our tongues, so that we would not um, be drawn towards temptation in these, well, giving in to, to temptation in these ways. Being aware that, Perhaps we're more vulnerable when we're angry or lonely or hungry, um, lacking some sort of fulfilment in our lives. Um, we can foresee danger. A wise person foresees danger. Proverbs 27 verse 12. 1 Corinthians 16 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in your faith. James 4 verse 7. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Another uh, application, uh, be grounded in the word of God. Of course, as we know, Jesus 
When he was tested and tempted in the de desert, he quoted scripture. And uh, this is such a key for us, to know intimately the Bible. It is really the sword of God in our hands. So, in summary, um, lead us not into temptation. We've talked a bit about the temptation and the testing. We've talked a bit about um, being watchful, being grounded in the word of God. And surely our prayer is, O oh Lord, keep me from being enticed towards evil, towards the free cheese in every life's mousetrap.